Hi everyone, I'm Dr. N. Sendil Marasamy, Associate Professor, Computer Science Engineering. Great pleasure for me to welcome you all for learning this session. In this session, topic to be covered is Architectural Design Challenges under Architectural Design of Compute and Storage Clouds for Unit 3 Cloud Platforms Architecture. At the end of Unit 3, students will be able to explain the design principles, architecture and the enabling technologies of cloud platform. At the end of this session, the students will be able to understand architectural design challenges under architectural design of compute and storage clouds. In this session, we will discuss various architectural design challenges. Challenge 1 Service Availability and Data Login Problem The management of a cloud service by a single company is often the source of single points of failure. To achieve high availability, one can consider using multiple cloud providers. Even if a company has multiple data centers located in different geographic regions, it may have common software infrastructure and accounting in systems. Therefore, using multiple cloud providers may provide more protection from failures. Another availability obstacle is distributed denial of service attacks. The criminals threaten to cut off the incomes of software as a service providers by making their services unavailable. Some utility computing services offer software as a service providers the opportunity to defend against DDoS attacks by using quick scallops. Challenge to data privacy and security concerns. Current cloud offering are essentially public rather than private networks, exposing the system to more attacks. Many obstacles can be overcome immediately with well understood technologies such as encrypted storage, virtual LANs, and network middle boxes, example, firewalls, packet filters. For example, you could encrypt your data before placing it in cloud. Many nations have laws requiring the software as a service providers to keep customer data and copyrighted materials within national boundaries. Traditional network attacks include buffer overflows, device attacks, spyware, malware, rootkits, trojan causes, and worms. In a cloud environment, newer attacks may result from hypervisor malware, guest hopping and hijacking or VM rootkits. Another type of attack is the man in the middle. Challenge 3 Unpredictable Performance and Portlands Multiple VMs can serve CPUs and main memory in cloud computing, but I/O sharing is problematic. For example, to run 75 EC2 instance with the stream benchmark requires a mean bandwidth of 1,355 MB per second. However, for each of the 75 EC2 instance to write 1 GB files to the local disk requires a mean disk write bandwidth of only 55 MB per second. This demonstrates the problem of I.O. interference between VMs. One solution is to improve the I.O. architectures and operating system to efficiently virtualize interrupts and I.O. channels. Challenge 4. Distributed Storage and Widespread Software Bugs The database is always growing in cloud applications. The opportunity is to create storage system that will not only meet this growth but also accompanied with cloud advantage of scaling arbitrarily up and down on demand. This demands the design of efficient distributed storage area networks. Data centers must meet programmers' expectation in terms of scalability, data durability, and high availability. Data consistency checking in storage area network connected data centers is a major challenge in cloud computing. Challenge 5 
Cloud Scalability, Interoperability and Standardization The BSU Co model applies to storage and network bandwidth Both are counted in terms of number of bytes used Competition is different depending on the virtualization level Google App Engine GAE automatically scales in response to load increases and decreases Users are charged by the cycles used AWS charges by the hour for number of VM instances used. Even if the machine is idle, the opportunity here is to scale quickly up and down in response to load variation in order to save money but without violating SLAs. Open virtualization format describes an open, secure, portable, efficient and extensible format for the packaging and distribution of VMs. It also defines a format for distributing software to be deployed in VMs. This VM format does not rely on the use of specific course platform, virtualization platform or HEST operating system. The approach is to address virtual platform agnostic packaging with the certification and integrity of packaged software. The package support virtual appliance to span more than one VM. Challenge 6 Software Licensing and Reputation Sharing Many cloud computing providers originally relied on open source software because the licensing model for commercial software is not ideal for utility computing. The primary opportunity is either for open source to remain popular or simply for commercial software companies to change their licensing structure to better fit cloud computing. One can consider using both pay for use and bulk use licensing schemes to widen the business coverage. One customer's bad behavior can affect the reputation of the entire cloud. For instance, blacklisting of EC2 IP addresses by spam prevention services may limit the smooth VM installation. An opportunity would be to create reputation coding services similar to the trusted email services currently offered to services costed on smaller ISPs. Another legal issue concerns the transfer of legal liability. Cloud providers want legal liability to remain with the customer and vice versa. This problem must be solved at the SLA level. The summary of this session, we learned various architectural design challenges under architectural design of compute and storage clouds. I hope you found this lecture is more informative. Thank you and have a nice day.